In this video, we will see how to convert a text into a speech using the Python. For this, we have the two models. One is using the Google Text to Speech API, and the another one is using the Python Text to Speech. Let us see one by one. First, we will see how to translate the text into a speech using the Google Text to Speech API. We will have to install that. For this, open your command prompt and type pip install gtts so gtts stands for google text to speech as you can see it says requirement already satisfied for the google text to speech work properly you will have to install the another model called the play sound so let's also install that pip install play sound so it says requirement already satisfied. We will just minimize this, open a python file and we will have to import the necessary packages. First we will import the google text to speech, then we will also import the play sound. Now we have imported the necessary models, it is time to define the text. So for this audio is a variable, it will we will call the Google Text to Speech class. So inside this Google Text to Speech method, just pass the text that you want to convert into a speech. For example, welcome to. I want to convert this text into a speech. So I have passed this text into this GTTS method. Let's save the audio file now so to do that audio dot save just give your name for your audio file in this case welcome dot mp3 the extension should be mp3 or it can be any extension supported for the audio file now we have seen the audio file to play the saved audio file this is where the play sound comes into picture so call the play sound method and inside this Play sound method was the name of the audio file. So this is it. We have converted the text to speech into using just the three lines. So let's save this file and run now. So I got the error. So, so we will have to call the play sound dot play sound method. So As you can say, welcome to programming with Kumar Reason. You can also specify the accent. By default, it is switched to English accent. You can change the accent by providing the land attribute. So, in this case, I want to change this to TA, which stands for Tamil. So, let's save this file and rerun it to check the accent. Welcome to Piovra. You can see that the Welcome to programming the Kumar Reason. If you want to see the, all the available languages, you will have to in, import the lang model. So, run GTTS, import lang. Then, define the languages. Languages equal to lang dot GTTS langs. This will return all the available languages. So let's print our languages. So let me comment this out. As you can see, these are the available actions that you can use. We have the A for um, Africa, and we have the TA for Tunnel, and we have all the other languages. This is one way of converting text into speech using the Google's text to speech. And the another one is the Python text to speech. We will also have to install that model as well. So let's open our command prompt again. So let me clear the screen. This this time type pip install Python text to speech. So this is the model name. So press enter. As you can see, it says requirement already satisfied. So let me close this. Let me clear all the lines now. 
let's import the install package python text to speech first we will have to initialize the engine so engine equal to python text to speech dot init this will initialize the python object for converting the text into a speech the next is the define the text variable that we want to convert so this welcome to my youtube channel after you define the text it's time to initialize our text to speech for this engine dot you will have to pass this text to say method engine dot say pass the text now now let's play the speech now so engine dot run and wait after you call the run and wait it will start to convert the text into one speech so let me save this file and run now welcome to my youtube channel you can see the audio now so the difference between the google text to speech and python text to speech is that we can't able to save the file as you can see we only pass the text to the same method we can't able to save the audio file for this we can if you want to save the file you can use the google text to speech but if you just want to hear the speech then you can use this python text to speech this is for this video and i will continue in the next one